RV preppers just went here. Uh, today I got another uh, battery backup I'm working on. Uh, it is a uh, Mustic uh, UPS 600. Uh, battery is no good. So what I've done is I've already unhooked the wires and everything. Uh, running the battery backup. It's uh, got my wires already drilled. This in here has the uh, battery connections on the end. Uh, this one here, you have to, you can't push the switch on and hold the switch in and get it to start by battery. Uh, board out. There is a reset switch. It's right there. Uh, there's the headers for it. I'm going to uh, run me a little push uh, momentary switch for that, and I'm pulling out the little the buzzer. Nobody wants to hear that thing going off, so I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to pull the. I'm going to remove these wires here that go to the battery. And I'm going to solder my other wires directly into the board. Uh, this one here seems to have a bigger transformer uh, than the one I did yesterday. Uh, it only has two plugs, but that, that's fine. This is just basically going to be for lights or TV, nothing uh, loaded. Um, last night... Uh, a lot of storms, power went out, uh, but we was out power for about an hour. I had my brand new battery backup system that's got the original battery in it, and, uh, I plugged a fan in it, and the fan ran about 30 minutes on one of the, uh, small type original batteries. Uh, it ran about 30 minutes. Now, if I would have had, uh, a, a bigger battery it would have run longer um, and one thing I noticed with the fan it didn't run as efficient as it did plugged into the wall uh, it's one thing I didn't like is power wasn't uh, uh, full power coming out but that was a brand new uh, brand new one that I've got uh, a couple years ago but this one here uh, once I get done and run another battery, I'll actually be able to run uh, uh, longer. Uh, what I'm going to do is after I get this one done, I'm going to take just uh, my test battery here and I'm going to uh, plug the fan in and I'm going to let the fan run and I'm going to time it and see about how long the fan runs uh, with this one here that I modded. Uh, some of these, uh, you see there's four places that doesn't have anything populated. They're actually for relays. Uh, some boards, uh, this one doesn't. Uh, you have places where you can put other things. This board doesn't have any place other than relays. So I'm not going to uh, uh, worry about trying to put any relays in. Sorry about it being out of focus. But I'm not going to worry about trying to uh, put any extra relay, relays in. I'm not going to get any extra power out of this one. Uh, so I'm just going to run this one as it is. Uh, let me get doing a little work here and then uh, I'll get back and I'll show you. And uh, Hopefully it'll be uh, a lot better. And I got it uh, together here. I've got the uh, wires soldered in, got it tied into a knot. Uh, right now I got it hooked up to this other battery here, so that that'll work. Uh, I still have to get down into the uh, tip of my finger, a little white connector there, and uh, I have to put a momentary switch. I thought I had one, but I don't. I'll get another one tomorrow. Uh, 
this one here is designed to stand stand up so that's why I've got the wires coming out the back side uh, this is just a mumbo jumbo here uh, this is 360 watts this one here so that'll still do some uh, lights and, uh, and other things but uh, this is another one here um, just put a momentary switch and put her back together and this one here would be good to go then so uh, another UPS hack questions and comments uh, please leave them below like and subscribe thank you